Vlogmas Day 12, everybody. Sorry about the background noise. Our neighbor likes to mow their lawn at like up until 11 p.m. at night, I swear. It's 5.38, I mean, you can see the sun is going down and they're still out there mowing their lawn, yeah. But today, I wanna wrap some presents. I have all of the goodies right here, wrapping paper. I have, well, not wrapping paper, tissue paper, wrapping paper right here, different kinds. All in this nice little bundle alongside some of our stickers that we put on the presents ribbon i'll maybe explain a few gifts now katie madeline dad and mom if you're watching this get out of here please i do not want to ruin your christmas so you can watch this later you can watch it after christmas whatever but this video is not for you because i'm going to be wrapping y'all's presents and i do not want you to know what you're getting and like I showed you on the Target haul, we have some little tops, some more, oh, that's open, some more tops. And we have, look how many little wrapping things we have, like papers. Let's go! Mom and dad are not home this weekend, so this is why I'm taking advantage and wrapping stuff. Hi, Ruth! Phoebe, come here! Ruth and Phoebe love this process. They love the boxes, they love the noises, they love that sound, they love everything that they should not be in, right? That's how cats go. Let me go grab the presents from upstairs. I'll be right back. So we're gonna take a box from another present. We gotta confuse them a bit. Then we're gonna neatly wrap these really cute pants that I got from mom. Mom, you better not be watching. I'm going to find out if you were. See, perfect. Fits perfectly. You sort of tape it a bit. Not too much where she can't open it. Here's some scotch tape. I was just on the phone with my friend Megan. Again, oh my goodness, me and Megan have been talking so much. I love you, Megs. But she is starting Throne of Glass series. She's so funny. She's sending me so many voice notes and it's just so fun. I love reliving book series with my friends, especially the ones that I was like, that I recommended. It's just a really good time. I feel like I'm rereading it. I'm going to have to reread Throne of Glass again because of how much I love it and miss it. What wrapping paper should I use? We're gonna choose this one first. Santa doesn't know you like I do. Sabrina Carpenter Christmas has been stuck in my head. It's so satisfying when you can get it to do that all the way. But this scissor, it's not, it's not that sharp, so I can't. I really like wrapping presents. I think it's super satisfying. And it's just calming. I don't know. Something about it, especially when you can put Christmas music on. Nothing better. But instead of Christmas music, I have my vlog on and I'm hanging out with y'all. My favorite way to wrap presents, I like wrapping presents, not boxing them. So like for instance, if you buy a toy and it's wrapped in a box, I wanna wrap that box. I don't wanna put that in another box so then they have to open another box. Like I want them to rip open the paper and see what it is. That's my favorite kind of wrapping. But like things like this, I try to hide it, like clothes. You sort of have to put it in a box and then they're gonna, they're gonna know right away what it is, you know? You want it to be sort of mysterious. Tomorrow I have work, only two pure bar classes. So that means that it won't be that long of a shift. I have been really enjoying Pure Bar. Now again, I'm applying to full-time job, so still on the still on the go on that. I wanna give a shout out to my best friends in London. If any of you are watching this, you know exactly who you are. I'm talking straight to you. I love y'all, and I miss you guys literally so much. I've been daydreaming a lot about if I were to start a new life where this job position is that I'm interviewing for. If I got offered this position, I'm starting to like do a lot of research of like, okay, where's the local pure bar I'm going to go to? Where's the spots to meet a cute boy? I don't really know what life's gonna have in store for me if I move cities. All I know, I wanna end back up in London. I know I keep saying it, but it's just the truth. It really is. See, nice and pretty wrapped. Now we have to decide what we wanna decorate it with. Okay, so I have this piece of ribbon that I think I'm gonna try to wrap around. And, oh, got the ribbon out. 
Oh goodness. There's another kitty. Okay, so I have a ribbon, which will probably tear up soon. And, Ruth, Ruth, you're in the middle. Ruth, come here. Go down, there you go. So I have this bow as well. So I'm gonna see if I can try to wrap this on here, make it look cute. But look how tiny these little things are. This is adorable. Like, why do they make these? Look how tiny the little bow is compared to this. This is like a normal size. Look, adorable. I know it's for tiny presents or like gift cards. Oh, that's what it's for. It might be for gift card little holders. When I was talking to Megan, I was explaining to her a 21st birthday sign. So I did not realize that this is a very American thing. And you know, I have a lot of British people on here because of my time studying abroad. So I'm gonna explain what a 21st birthday sign is. <laughs> So a 21st birthday sign is a sign that you get for your 21st. It's a surprise. Your friend or family makes it. And, okay, let's see if we can do this. Sorry, I keep getting distracted. I'm really bad at multitasking actually. And it's really unique to you. I will show some examples of what they look like. So I just made one for my little sister. I just, I just made one for my little sister. And it's just unique to her. And so what it is, you print it out and it's like, you put it on a 20 by 20 poster board and it's a big sign like this big. You put a little boa, a feathered boa around it attached to the sign. And then on the back of it, it has 21 things to do to check off. So normally you get this whole show of like, oh, what did, what is my 21st birthday sign? So you have a big party and then everyone reveals it to you. And then you go out and you go out. You go downtown to bars or like a fun little thing like that. But it's really big because, you know, 21st is when you can start drinking. I'll show you once I'm done and reveal it to her for her birthday. I'll do a whole vlog over it. I'll show the reveal, everything. I showed you all the InDesign and everything I designed, but I wanted to explain what it was because I was explaining it to my friend Megan, who lives in London. She's British. And she did not understand what I was saying and what it was. So that's what it is. One down, a few more to go. I love when you have paper that you don't think you'll ever use because the size is just super weird. And then you do. You have this little thing. This is for my dad. It is an earwax removal tool with a camera, which is really cool. You think it's gross, but it's not. That's really cool. So this is how I like to wrap it, where there's nothing in it or anything. It's literally just the item. So when he opens it, he doesn't have to guess. It's just it is what it is. Ruth is getting into another box. Oh, see, this is when I can use a little bow. This works. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I'm gonna use a white one. Perfect. risking showing y'all because my dad is really hard to surprise he doesn't ever want anything for christmas he's just hard to surprise so something that's on my bucket list that i want to do i want to go to norway and i want to go see santa claus my friends maya hi maya love you and megan maybe others i don't remember anyone else talking about it though they went to norway and they went onto this whole holiday where you go and you meet Santa, you go dog sled riding. It's just super magical and super wintry and exactly what the North Pole would look like if you visited the actual North Pole. That is like a dream. Growing up in junior high, I always did feel super left out because I loved games, I loved playing around. I didn't like the girly things. My, I was a late bloomer on like a lot of things, maturity, all that. And so a lot of my best friends, they were very mature and I just never understood it. I never understood how they just wanted to sit and talk with the parents at the family barbecues instead of going and playing sardines or a different hide and seek game. I never understood it. 
I was always a gamer person, even like, you know, just going outside and running around and playing. So immature, so a lot of my friends, especially Brooklyn, my best friend in California, there was some time when we were together, like when we were best friends, where she would want to do such different things than I wanted to do. Like she wanted to get dressed up and take pictures, which is nothing wrong with that. But I didn't see the appeal to it. I was just more like, well, why don't we actually just go jump on the trampoline and like play a popcorn game? Like, let's go play popcorn on the trampoline. Or I'd be like, okay, let's play hotel inside, you know, or let's play spies, something like that. Always a late bloomer. Always a kid at heart. Always have been, always will be. I don't think it ever grew out of me. I just, it still stayed there, but I'm starting to like adult things. In my purse, I have a few things that I take with me all the time, everywhere. This little container that my mom gave me, which is so sweet, she's so sweet for it. It includes Pepto, Bismol, pills, Advil liquid pills, and it includes gum. A lot of my friends used to, will joke around with me, be like, Izzy, why are you, why do you have all this medicine in there? But I get, I have tummy issues, okay? I always have tummy issues. Everyone in life, I feel like, has pros and cons, and we all equal out at some point. I truly believe that. So, like, my cons are my stomach issues and my crippling anxiety of flying, which is not fun and I do not like it at all. But you can't have everything given to you in life. You know what I mean? I feel like you can't have it all in a way. At least you can't have it all given to you so easily. So you can have it all when you work on it and all that stuff. I made a list the other day of what I want in a boyfriend. And I saw it somewhere. Who Someone told me that it's like a good idea to have a list just to lay out what you want. It actually gets you kind of excited for like what you could date, whatever. But my list includes a lot of things. In the shower yesterday, I was thinking about controversial opinions. And I was thinking if I have any. My controversial opinion for the longest time of my life, you guys are gonna laugh at this now, but guess what, I saw it, was that Taylor Swift was an amazing singer and songwriter. I know y'all are like, what, you know? That was my biggest controversial opinion growing up as a kid. So many people did not see that in Taylor Swift. Let me tell you, that girl, she did not have it easy. Like you guys are like, oh my gosh, she's just touring. She's just super famous now. Like people who haven't really been along for the ride. No, she struggled to get where she is today. That's all I gotta say. I used to be made fun of so much. I know I've said this before in my vlog, but. Oh, my other controversial opinion, and I can prove it. I can absolutely prove it because it works for me. Now I can't prove it for all people because people are all different, but for me it works. So this opinion is a fact to me. You do not need coffee to have a successful day. You don't need caffeine to have energy. Let that one sink in. Coffee and caffeine is a routine. I swear by it. Remember when I was on my Accutane? I was sitting here talking to y'all about how I had to stop caffeine because my anxiety was getting so bad on caffeine and Accutane at the same time. I was having anxiety attacks. It was just, it was not good at all. I was at my lowest of the low. It was terrible, honestly. This year, 2023, has been not the best year for me. Now it's been great. I'm off Accutane. I've been off for about two months now, so my body is, you know, pushing all the toxins out, everything that I've had in my system. My face, it's not like, the clearest of clear, but it is so much better than before. I will put up some acne pictures right here, over here. I'll start slide showing those, but like terrible. Like looking back, I just want to cry for myself. Poor Izzy at that time. Seri and I don't want to pity myself. Don't want to give myself that kind of attention, but I was miserable and it hurts my heart thinking about it. Like I can't even go back and watch some of those vlogs because I knew of how just bad of a place I was in at that time. It was hard, it was a struggle. It was a battle every single day waking up to just like, to find, I don't know, to find happiness. Like it was, whew, it was a lot. Anyways, caffeine, I've been off it since, well, not total caffeine, cause I've had a couple of Cokes, but like coffee, caffeine, and also when I have Coke, it's not the best mixture either, I still find. So I've been off caffeine since my Accutane journey and I've stayed off of it, so now I only have decaf. And now, since it's only decaf, it's more, instead of it being like, I need coffee to have caffeine to start my day and have energy, decaf doesn't really give you energy like that. So, I find myself not having coffee at all, even if it's decaf, 
it's more of a treat and like a sugary treat or something like that when I put creamer in it. It took a little bit to get off of it. It took me about three weeks to like fully not feel sluggish without caffeine, but I did it y'all. I enjoy it every now and then as a ritual, like sitting with my parents. If my parents are sitting there having coffee, sometimes I'll have coffee or I'll have a cup of tea, something like that, but I do not rely on it anymore at all, which is super cool unpopular opinion you don't need to rely on it you can get off of it and i feel much better oh ruth looks so cute Hi, ruth. she keeps turning her head with me Hi, ruthie. another unpopular opinion i have there's two tv shows that i could never get into because i just kept getting bored and it just was not for me one tree hill and Grey's anatomy i know a lot of people love that show maybe i need to give it a second chance or a third chance i think i've tried watching one tree hill at least three times and I get so bored so bored out of my mind I don't like teenage drama like that unless it's like fantasy unless it's vampire diaries and demons in it that's, I think that's the only reason I don't think Chad Michael Murray is that cute unless he's in a Cinderella story with Hilary Duff that's when he's cute my celebrity crush is Ian Summerholder and Paul Walker these are for Katie my older sister she wanted these she knows she's getting these smell what does it smell like? Hmm? Now... When she grabs it, her toy, she tries to drag it away. See? <laughs> Okay, y'all, there are the presents that I wrapped today. I am gonna go cook some dinner. I am done wrapping for tonight. I wanna say I'll see y'all tomorrow. Have a good rest of your morning, evening, night, whatever time it is. And Ruth and Phoebe both say goodbye too. Bye, y'all.